Intercepted calls from the front lines in Ukraine show a growing number of Russian soldiers want out. Here's a summary of the article. In audio intercepts from the front lines in Ukraine, Russian soldiers speak in shorthand of 200s to mean dead, 300s to mean wounded. As the war grinds into its second winter, a growing number of Russian soldiers want out, as suggested in secret recordings obtained by the Associated Press of Russian soldiers calling home from the battlefields of the Kharkiv, Luhansk and Donetsk regions in Ukraine. The AP verified the identities of people in the calls by speaking with relatives and soldiers, some of whom are still at war in Ukraine, and researching open-source material linked to the phone numbers used by the soldiers. What's happening in Ukraine is simply genocide, the soldier in Kharkiv told his brother. As long as we are needed here, we will carry out our task, a soldier named Artyom told AP from eastern Ukraine at the end of May, where he'd been stationed for eight months without break. Roman said his cousin was killed by a shell that took out a dozen soldiers. His family managed to get his body, or at least half of his body, back to Russia, but the other 11 soldiers lay unclaimed in Ukraine. This post received a score of 2,400, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I guess it will end when the troops start fragging their officers. Start fragging officers more often. Exactly. We've already had several reports of incidents like this happening, including apparently one where a tank commander ran over his commanding officer, but they've been scattered and many not confirmed to have even happened. If we start seeing more frequent instances of fragging, especially in important areas of the front, then we can start to make claims about a mood shift among the soldiers. The Russian government has been counting on these people dying quickly. They don't get to consider these thoughts. Avdivka is turning into Bakhmut too with the amount of losses the Russians are taking. Their generals and Putin do not care how many men they send to their deaths. I hesitate to call it Bakhmut too, because the Russians don't have anything like Wagner to throw at it. Wrong. They have has Storm Z which is a penal colony battalion. They were throwing Storm Z in front of Wagner to take the losses for them. They aren't particularly bad but nothing like the professional fighting force Wagner was. Good. Get the fuck out already. I mean they gave them guns, and bad conditions or death. I think I'd be making my way to the enemy to survive in prison. There are several documented cases of Russian shelling units they suspect might be surrendering. It can be risky to try to surrender. Better headline, intercepted calls from the front lines in Ukraine show a growing number of Russian soldiers wanted out 11 months ago when the calls were recorded. Yes. There have been reports of this since the start. Our media is acting like there's going to be some mass desertion of Russian soldiers in Ukraine. Here's what's going to happen. These unhappy Russians will stay and fight because they'll be executed if they don't. The Russians are very good at forcing unwilling men to fight a war they don't believe in. Been doing it since the Zaira lol. Here's a thought. If you're going to be shot anyway just leave. There is only a chance the Ukrainians shoot you. It's 100% certain state security will shoot you. They don't know that though. They have been brainwashed into thinking of the Ukrainians the way we think of the Russians. The Russian people have to want change and act on those desires. Waiting for Putin to keel over isn't going to change anything. A new dictator will just rise to fill the void. If whoever takes his place is even remotely intelligent, they'll pull the fuck out of Ukraine immediately, and then shift all the blame onto Putin's closest generals. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.